maybe extend upon that, but that's for P3 to worry about. <laughs> we are going to get into it between Joshathan Gamer and Bonk, who has been on a brilliant run of form tonight. I must say, Bonk maybe having a little bit of an off season relative to what uh, to what he's been doing, mm -hmm. but uh, showing out in this one, guaranteed at least fourth place, but is going to be looking for so much more as we are back to first three play. Yeah, I know he's prioritizing a lot more uh, of his uh, vocal work. Like, he does audiobook recordings. Obviously, you know, from his time as pro guys, he's more of a uh, vocal guy, and he started uh, trying to get the ball rolling in that respect in his life. So, uh, more power to him there. But, I mean, to be doing that while at the same time still being a menace in Philly in Smash is just, you know, just speaks to the amount of... Uh, the amount of care that he puts in, or the amount of respect, rather, that he puts into uh, what he's uh, what he's established for himself in the the, the game of Smash, and the, the ability to carry it forward even after all these years is certainly something uh, to uh, to respect him for. And at the same time, though, Joshathan, he was doing very very well tonight. You know, utilizing Pyra and Mithra. Uh, very, very unexpectedly in a lot of uh, key matchups here tonight. Uh, we'll be facing down Bonk, uh, a player that he is very familiar with. So maybe we could see a swap of characters here, may take Bonk off the, uh, the unexpected route, even though he does claim stock here 142 on. You just got to think it is uh, a couple of seconds before something like that happens. And there you go. He's right up 2-2. And uh, this still could go either way. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we have we have seen Bonk a few times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so one hit and done for sure. So um, okay, okay, hang on. Back air. Again, just get, oh, getting tagged on landing. Bonk needs to be careful about where that Meta Knight's feet uh, touch the ground. Dash attack missing. Yeah. The second one didn't. But it's going to be Jonathan garnering the advantage and. Almost getting the kill with the up air, though. Of course, Bonk DI into the corner. Oh, yeah. Delays it for about five seconds and then <laughs> eventually goes to the rightful place in the blast zone. Right, and the way that Joshton's just been able to keep up that pressure to establish that ground control, when you cut that off for Meta Knight, the way that we said before, if you give him a millimeter, he will run away with it. Oh! Are you? Oh, shit. I'm disgusted. Dad! Damn it! I apologize. <laughs> but they're they're gonna carry it through. Oh, well. There's absolutely no yeah, no, he's he knows. <laughs> okay, maybe not. He knows. <laughs> he knows. He's a cheater, but not that big. Oh man. <laughs> Unbelievable. Collusion between Joshathan and Mega Moose, sure, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that's unbelievable, but honestly, it's entirely believable. <laughs> so, like, so, yeah, sign up for Collision. Smash that GG. Start.gg, excuse me. There you go. Yeah, works about the same anyway. So, we're going to game number two. Meta Knight and Rob yet again. Bunk. I mean, you can sort of see the workings of something uh, positive there from the Meta Knight. But, I mean, Joshathan Gamer has learned to play a pretty domineering style with Rob. That's mm. a very intentional footstool. And, yeah, learned to get out of these ladders relatively quickly. I mean, this is a guy who learned the ways of the troll from <laughs> yeah. this very Meta Knight. So, I mean, it's uh, really this sort of, like... Sensei versus student kind of feel to this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you see here, Joshathan trying to uh, hmm? to silence the master. Right now, again, I'm, even before that first round went the, uh, his way because of a uh, a controller desync, uh, Joshathan was still, you know, cutting off that ground game that Meta Knight needs with dash attack and grab to get things going their way. And so, you know... Just still having a great foothold against ben Meta Knight. Bonk not able to get anything started, but why Ooh. are you challenging one of the fastest smash attacks in the game? Yeah, that's a little suspect, not going to lie, but this Meta Knight is probably not going to stay alive for much longer. You got to think that a well-placed bear is going to be an immediate death, but then again, 
When Meta Knight touches you, the exact same result comes about. Three stocks to one, and the touch of death from the sword of Meta Knight shows itself yet again. And right now, oh, oh no. my gosh. Not again, <laughs> not again. Bonk! Dear God in heaven, how many times do you have to do this? You would think the touch of death doesn't work on an unliving being, but Bonk has showed us otherwise. That oh. was just a beautiful showcase of what this character can do at any moment. You could be dead, so count your seconds with care and preciousness because you could see them slashed before your very eyes. Unreal, and you saw it at the ledge. The potential for it was certainly there, but then you just get poked. All of a sudden, you're hanging there in the air, and you just get Rob going, why was I programmed to feel pain? <laughs> and it's just, and all of a sudden, before you know it, it's a three stock, even after yeah. suffering 136 points worth of damage at the very start of the game. 14 for the rest of it, and uh, three stocks in your pocket. So now we're going to game number three. The character switch has been made final. And uh, yeah, I'm willing to say that this Meta Knight got the download on Rob. But now we're going to the Pipper. There you go, exactly. So again, much like the switch up from Jackal benefited him against Con Man, will this switch up work for Joshathan? Right now having the more extreme benefit of what these two characters can accomplish may give a better foothold against combos in the wake of Meta Knight. Uh, certainly something that you would want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe in terms of uh, combo potential. But you need the time to switch to Pyra in order to capitalize off of her beefy hits. And right now he has all the time in the world to do it. And even swapping back to Mithra thinking the job is not done with her yet. But the, uh, the less weighted nature of uh, Mithra is something that Joshin has to keep in respect because uh, they can certainly fall into a lot more combos. What uh, Bonk is looking for in that situation to pull it right back in his respects. But the switch, at least for now, working out for Joshin as Pyre was able to close out that first stock. And the quick swap to Mithra just keeping up that character presence pressure that Josh then has to uh, to keep Bonk uh, uh, mentally checked uh, in the uh, the rest of this set here. Oh, gets tagged. Not there with the tech, and Josh then getting caught with these stray up -bees. That did cost him the first stock in uh, that game too, I believe. Prominence Revolt showing itself, and again with a little bit of an advantage. On Bonk, we're seeing Josh then with a distinct advantage when the game slows down. So maybe letting this Meta Knight try to uh, try to come to Pyra and Mithra, even though it seems a little counterintuitive, you have the speed to be able to make it up, and certainly uh, you have the ability to be precise with your movement with the character. So you can do at least a measure of spacing. Yeah. And it seems like it's working out for him just fine. Three stocks to one, Josh then Gamer, right back in the set, and perhaps Maybe a, a breath of relief from Josh. I mean, more to that point, you know what you have as Pyramithra that Rob doesn't? A disjoint. Yeah. So challenging that, uh, you know, that aggressive nature that Meta Knight needs to establish. If you're challenging with a disjoint, like, you can pressure that far away and turn it right back around. The disjoint working wonders for Joshathan right now as he has one game up against Bonk. We'll see if it is the one he needed to take out his master, like you alluded to before. It, will the master have one more trick up his sleeve to assert why he is still the one with all the knowledge in the uh, Why he's the pro the guy. <laughs> the, yeah. why, the pro guy, yes. Without a doubt, we'll see if he has uh, more pros than cons working against him here. And oh, Bonk really... Will we see the Shulk? Is this what we're is no, this no. what we're down to? Wait here? a second. I think He's it is. He's switching tags, I think it is. Oh wait, Clyde Cash. It's Clyde Cash. Wait, oh, is it Jerkup? It it's either one. They're both references. Oh man. Oh, we went back to Oive. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No 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 no. You gotta see. I am holding this hammer. <laughs> 
Minnesota. Oh my God! It's What's happening! It? It's a jerk cop catastrophe. <laughs> it's <laughs> going to see a battle between the anime laser sword people. I don't know. I'm not a weeb. What so, is small that? Battlefield Look at this neutral. Lord. Look at the respect that has just fallen into Bonk's lap. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait, wait uh, problem with the controllers, my bad. All right, they're reset. <laughs> okay, okay, never mind. <laughs> I try to play it up, but no, it's a mechanical failure, of course. Uh, oh, God. Goodness me. Yeah, we're going to, uh, our brains are our melting before your very eyes, folks. We have to go to the TO desk, I think, to get another controller, maybe. I think that's what they're motioning for. Yeah, no, we are going to see Bonk uh, motion over to the stream. Yeah, it is. Us. Mega Moose coming in. Going right back to the Desk to get him one. So, yeah. I mean, his hand is revealed, though. So, a lot of that surprise nature is sort of uh, ebbing away right now. So, Joshuaen, you know, even if it does go the way of Bonk, Joshuaen will have a much harder time to, uh, to, to utilize that surprise nature of picking that Shulk since he uh, showcased it right there. And yeah, he will stick it out. All right, yeah, just uh, respect on both sides, though. You know, I showed my hand. I'll stick with the character. Uh, we'll see if this, you know, certainly the surprise has wilted away, but will it be enough to carry his bonks uh, hopes into a Game 5 situation, or will Joshathan quell his master and silence him I, as he I, moves on? I will say that, you know, even though there is obviously the... This sort of dynamic between Josh the Gamer <laughs> and Bonk at play here. Yeah. I mean, we've been talking about Shulk's potential from the very start of this game, and there have been a certain sect of people that aren't necessarily wrong in being like, Shulk has top 10 potential. Shulk has, you know, the potential to be, uh, you know, to define this game. Mm -hmm. All it needs is someone who can, you know, really pilot this character and really get it going. Sort of the same conversation that we've had yeah. about, you know, a, a character like Link, for example. But. Then again, it never really seems like you do see very good Shulks playing the game. Individuals like Soul Arts, for example, up in New York. Yeah. But at the same time, you don't really see, you know, it, it with as much prominence as, say, Pyra and Mithra, just because it is so complicated to the point where it maybe it's just a little bit of an ease of access thing. Yeah. You do have to be a pretty smart dude in order and understand the game very well in order to pilot Shulk effectively and utilize that disjoint to its greatest advantage, but is it just too difficult to do? Bonk is going to have to show us uh, how easy it can look, and hey, if anyone can do it, it's probably the pro guy, right? Right, and the reason it boils down to that is because of that, uh, the Minato Arts, uh, him having five options in his chamber, while Pyra and Mithra are two extremes as well. But Pyra and Mithra are a lot more established in those, <laughs> in those five, in those two respects, rather, where uh, the Monado Arts, you have to play around, you know, both the bleed of them being resorted into nothingness and then them having a cooldown for when you have to pull them back up. There is a, a, a minutia of it that is, that is so, like, that is so uh, abundant that you have to, ha like you said, there is a, a lot of care in how you have to utilize a Shulk to his fullest, and if you don't do it pristinely, uh, everything just works against you, it seems that way. And so, right now, you know, 101 on a uh, Pyramithra, you know, he's certainly keeping Joshathan on task right now. He's not letting anything Ooh. fall by the wayside. Nearly falling by the wayside is the Pyramithra as yeah. well. As again, he utilized the um, Smash uh, Monado art um, at the right moment there. He has nothing on deck right now. Speed to try to close the gap the way Joshathan was hanging back, using the Blazing Edge again. Ready with the DI on the air slash. I mean, the, yeah. the thing is, Justin has a general idea of what... Oh, see you again. Has a good general idea of what this uh, Shulk is capable of. Even if you mm -hmm. don't have the specific matchup knowledge, you kind of, you know, have general clues. Like, obviously you avoid him in Smash. You kind of want to fight him in Buster just because you do get a little bit more damage piled on, mm -hmm. and it's... Uh, Maybe just a little bit more knockback. I mean, shield, obviously, yeah, you're going to not have your hits be as effective. But if you're Mithra, that's not really concerning you all that much anyway. You're As long as you're yeah. controlling the game and Pyra is going to put an end to that one, Joshathan Gamer takes on the show cross.